Welcome to Mr. Mitsubishi YouTube channel covers a lot of all new PHEV stuff. Today we have exciting uh, times. We just got this base ES 2023 Outlander PHEV. So everything starts with this base trim level and today we'll have a closer look at exterior, interior, couple of features, what it comes with and how it looks. I think in these times that uh, there's long, long wait times, no matter where you look, it's important we have chance to do these real life uh, you know checkups on those vehicles see what's what because you know you used to be able to just walk on a lot and you'll have every color every trim level the market has changed a little bit no more you have that option so I hope these videos help you to understand you know your choice of your PHV journey it's packed with a lot a lot of stuff there's so much value in this Outlander PHV base model not even funny so right now let's have a closer look what exactly it's all about and here we go let's have a closer look now at this so uh, like I said before uh, 2023 base ES uh, trim level oh, everything starts with this and then goes from up from there it's a great great trim level um, has ton of options in it already in the base model. We'll cover all this in video. We'll have a look at the interior as well. We'll check out the trunk space. Uh, we'll uh, we'll cover everything. So visually, there's few things that um, kind of tell us this is the entry level, the ES. You do have uh, the lower bumper part. It's uh, plastic instead of this uh, silver uh, paint on it. So that will be one thing. And the second thing that tells us it's the uh, base vehicle. You don't have those. Uh, um crossbars or the roof rails right there and we don't have the sunroof right so we can see that the roof is uh just you know uh, white there's uh, no sunroof in it so those kind of visually are things that uh, tell us that this is the base es trim level um the side pretty much uh you know the same of course you know we can see the roof rails are not there and whatnot and then if we go from the back so back same thing lower bumper part is uh, what gives it away that this is the es trim level visually i gotta say i like a lot the fact that uh, outlander you know like base or fully loaded it still looks cool and uh, moving forward we're going to be doing some modifications and uh, accessory upgrades on these base outlanders as well and you'll see it's going to turn out like million bucks so can't wait to see now all of those Outlanders, they come with this 20 uh, kilowatt hour battery, which provides a 61 official rated 61 kilometers all electric range. I've done some tests here on my channel. If you browse the channel, I made the, um, this, you know, the channel list with videos, the video list where I cover that. I got uh, on my first drive almost 80 kilometers and then on the winter drive just over 50 kilometers. So I think the 61 kilometer range it's very very underrated to be honest from the feedback that we're hearing from uh, the clients so the total range if we factor in the uh, the gas and everything else it's uh, 687 uh, kilometers but again if, if you just uh, charge up fill up full and off you go so on your daily basis if you go from place to place charge it up out of one tank of gas you'll be able to squeeze out a lot lot more so right now we just covered the exterior the visual there's a couple of things that tell us, obviously it's the plug-in hybrid. We have this uh, Outlander, or the, sorry, this plug-in hybrid EV badge on there. And then we have the same badge on the back, right here. That says so this is PHEV. And uh, this door here contains the, uh, uh, the charging port, right? So obviously the gas version won't have that. So all this charging stuff we're gonna be covering in future videos as well so you make sure you subscribe. So right now, before we check out the interior, let's check out the trunk space. And for the trunk, so all the Outlanders are super all-wheel control and all of them are seven seaters. This is the big change from the previous one. So the previous one was only five passenger. And uh, this is how the trunk space looks. So if you obviously wanna use it for your uh, uh, passenger transportation you have to take this cargo cover out and these are the seats so the seats we can recline them a little bit like this or we can fold them down like that and there's one more where we can just flip them up one more time uh, this is different from the gas version so gas version they're split in half and then you can fold one or the other on the PHEV the entire third row folds down or uh, flips up again like this 
or like you can flip it up and make the entire uh, floor uh, flat. So I think just, you know, I've done also a comparison video, gas versus uh, um, PHEV third row. I like the PHEV uh, version a little bit better because then, you know, once your floor mats are out, you can put grocery bags and some stuff. You have a little bit more uh, compartment space compared to uh, the gasoline version and your, you know, stuff that you put in trunk doesn't flip flop all around. So on the base ES, you don't have um, power tailgate, so it's a manual close. I wish Mitsubishi added this as a standard feature because it seems like, you know, the tailgate is pretty high and, uh, you know, it's uh, it takes like uh, a force to close it down. And if you don't do it strong enough, then you have to close it again, then your hands get dirty. But uh, you know what, for entry level, trim level, that's uh, something to be expected. We're not totally surprised on that. So super all wheel control standard, seven seat standard, 11 airbag standard, has blind spot information system, has forward collision uh, mitigation system, adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning, 12.3 uh, uh, inch digital uh, screen display, which we're gonna have a look at in a sec. Lots of, lots of uh, good stuff. So right now let's uh, check out the interior. So we are inside of the Outlander ES and uh, we have just regular cloth interior. And uh, you know these door panels, uh, they've the cloth. They're not uh, leather like on uh, you know other trim levels like SCL and whatnot. Uh, overall, it looks very very good. So this screen right here is the smaller eight inch screen, but uh, this driver's screen, it's the same screen for all Outlanders. So it doesn't matter if you get uh, uh, fully loaded or base, you're still getting this 12.3 inch uh, full LCD screen. Now let's see how it works. Uh, we start the vehicle. I really like this uh, these graphics here and like this Mitsubishi uh, logo coming up. It's pretty sharp. I like it a lot. Okay, so this screen right here, um, same for all Outlanders, which is very, very cool. You don't have to go to the top of the line or upgrade just because you want the screen like on the gas version. So this one here gives you already that. And then you have two views. You have this uh, classic view or you have... Uh, it's good. Okay, or you have this uh, enhanced uh, view that pushes aside these dials and gives you a little bit bigger, um, you know, uh, screen right here with energy flow and whatnot. So you can choose between the two. I really like the fact that this is uh, standard. I think this feature is uh, going to be, um, you know, selling point for a lot of people who not necessarily want to upgrade to like, you know, sunroof power tailgate and pay all that extra money. They're okay with the same battery because all the vehicles, they come with the same battery and uh, same everything. Mechanically, they're the same, uh, except, you know, what you get uh, inside right here. So uh, you do have, you know, these dials here, like um, terrain shifters with this uh, power boost option. You also have this uh, innovative pedal and you have the EV drive selector right here we can see it how everything changes so that part is exactly the same for all outlanders and i think a lot of people just care about technology and gas mileage and they don't care about uh, heated steering wheel maybe that much sunroof power tailgate and options like that so you still get heated uh, seats which is pretty awesome i gotta say I quite like the Outlander PHV, the base one, um, a lot. Uh, the very, very big selling point for me personally is the fact that this screen you get on all trim levels, starting with base, it's very, very cool. Gives you this uh, upscale feel, no matter which uh, trim level you go. I've seen a lot of different cars and I gotta say, uh, this, like, you know, the way how it looks and with detail and everything else. And then once you start to dry, like these arrows move, to let you know if you're like, you know, using the battery or, or uh, you know, regenerating some of the electricity back and everything else. Looks very, very cool. Let's have a look at the uh, second row again. Okay, so this is the second row. So these parts can be adjusted like this. Um, obviously, you know, once we jump in, we don't have the sunroof. We can see that uh, there's just a, uh, you know, there's no sunroof. <laughs> That's what we see. <laughs> and then again, the interior uh, looks pretty cool. I like those cloth seats. They're good quality cloth seats. They don't uh, come across as, as cheap uh, options. So obviously, you know, K 
convenience things like you know heated steering wheel a power tailgate sunroof stuff like that you know 360 camera and whatnot like you know you will be missing on on this outlander es but uh for the base vehicle for the entry level vehicle i gotta say i am personally very very impressed how it looks and uh, i really like that uh 12.3 inch uh screen that it comes with um you know that's a, a very very big plus for me personally so there we go we just checked out this uh, outlander es PHEV that just landed i hope you liked it as much as i did thank you so much for checking out this video and see you next videos